Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Anna Alexandra has made my job easier. My presentation will be devoted to specifics of surgery. Uh, on the background of target therapy with the Noxomab. And this is morphological architecture. We know that the leading role in osteolysis is rank rankal uh, system, and uh, the action of uh, target therapy is based on that. Despite the fact that the main method of treatment of giant cell tumor has been the surgery, only 80% of primary uh, patients are operable when they're diagnosed from 15 to 40 percent have relapses of the surgery. Modern method of treatment is a combined surgery, prostatic therapy with the Nosomab uh, method. As to choosing the tactics, uh, the surgeon is guided by localization, dissemination, voluminous of tissue component, depending on the type of surgery, the number of relapses depend from 0 to 65 percent. The majority of local relapses occur within the first two years after surgery. Local relapses associated with soft tissue component, pathological fracture to prevent relapses with three post resectional cavity with different agents, uh, high speed walls, ultrasound technologies, and uh, with the benign nature of uh, lesion, young age, it's preferable to do organ saving surgery with personalized approach. Denosumab is aimed at osteolytical properties of giant cell uh, tumor and preoperative period. It allows to uh, well, reduce the volume of surgical intervention. Oh, as to combine treatments, of course, uh, we have to preserve that and the uh, prosthetic opportunities and uh, treat complicated localization. But how many courses of the nosomab before surgery have to be made? How will reduction of volume influence relapses? What about ability of tumor? Um, uh, well, uh, to avoid uh, adverse events. We analyzed 44 cases combined treatment. Patients from 27 to 58 years, 23 men, 21 women. All patients uh, had target therapy with denosumab from 3 to 12 months with further surgery. We evaluated clinical development, Karnovsky status, morphological and clinical changes. After three months of treatment, 100% patients had reduction of pain syndrome, partial restoration of uh, uh, Karnovsky scale function up to 100% uh, uh, is in 30 patients. So one patient had uh, clear progression. Therapy was continued. Three months afterwards, radiological picture shows increase of the density of bone tissue by 13, a sclerotic rim, intratumor bone septum, uh, and uh, a necrotic margins remained. Then, after that, 32 patients had reduction or, or the uh, increment reduction of pain syndrome or other patients had no pain at all. Uh, they, uh, six patients stopped therapy because there was no, uh, because of the absence of medication. And after that, target therapy was used, and we made histological testing of the tissues after target therapy. So we see 
increase of the density of bone tissue, sclerotic development, intratumor septa, moderate bleeding after surgery. And the bone septors uh, easily f uh, went through easy fragmentation. Margins between tumor and healthy bone were not clearly defined. Cytological cells of tumor uh, were def uh, found in one case and histological see replacement of tumor by fibrotic tissue. Nine months, in nine months, out of 20 patients, there was further reduction of pain syndrome. 16 patients had pain at movement. There was partial restoration of uh, local motor function. After uh, 10 months, we see it's a uh, uh, decrease in density of tumor, then sclerosis increase, uh, cost, uh, intraosseous causes um, uh, change, uh, bleeding uh, is decreased, uh, septs uh, more uh, dense, and cytologically um, uh, on the uh, uh, tumor uh, margins, the uh, cells, uh, cytological cells um, are found in a uh, few um, number of cases. Histologically, we see immature bones. Patients who were treated uh, 12 for 12 months, uh, six patients uh, felt uh, persistent uh, pain, and um, in uh, uh, 27 patients targeted um, therapy uh, was cancelled after 12 months, and they uh, went through surgery. Uh, in terms of uh, rengology, uh, we found uh, increase in uh, bone density. Uh, septs were uh, dense and uh, the cells were uh, smaller and uh, the tissue was uh, uh, not well divide, defined. Uh, in terms of cytology, the margins of the resection tumor cells uh, were absent. And uh, uh, in terms of uh, morphology, 25 uh, patients, uh, we saw elimination in 10% uh, of cases. So what do we see in all uh, terms? Uh, the more Dinosanap courses uh, the patient went through, the less we see amount of bleeding, also uh, solid septus uh, allowed to uh, keep the bones uh, healthy and uh, avoid fractures, but um, the clear, uh, the absence of clear tumor um, margins uh, didn't allow to uh, make uh, uh, clear uh, radical surgeries. Uh, we saw in many cases uh, uh, residual changes uh, after six and nine months of uh, targeted uh, therapy, and uh, it they were more convenient to uh, for uh, in terms of intrafocal resection. After segmented resection, uh, were uh, were provided after twelve uh, courses. In two patients, after combined uh, treatment, uh, during six months after surgery, uh, we saw relapse uh, in another patient uh, after 12 courses of tenosumab and the segmented resection, uh, we found uh, relapse. And uh, in one patient, after nine courses uh, in uh, intrafocal resection in place of uh, femur, the reason was uh, the microfocal tumors so that started to uh, progressively develop after the cancelling tenosunab. This uh, type of 
uh, complications cannot be predicted and cytology uh, will not help as well. So let me show you a clinical case. The patient is 34 years of age, clinical uh, pain, uh, tumor present, uh, fast growth, uh, 12 uh, quarters of demosinab uh, and the uh, prosthesis. In terms of ranginology, we see changes in density and structure of the bone uh, after 6 and 12 a month of morphological uh, study after surgical treatment showed regression. A more difficult case, uh, clinical pain, uh, uh, growth. Stachis Karnovsky, 79 courses of genosumnab, uh, resection with plastic um, uh, was uh, provided after relapse uh, in six months. Genosumnab uh, was continued, uh, resection, 3D uh, processes was uh, provided, and morphological uh, study after surgery showed uh, full morphological regression. And in conclusion, individual approach uh, to a combination, a combinated treatment uh, with the definition of optimal number of courses of dinosunab and uh, terms allows to, um, uh, to increase the quality of life of a patient. Questions, please. Thank you for the presentation. My question is about uh, the um, elbow bone. Uh, why did you do uh, pro uh, prosthesis? Uh, do you mean the the uh, case that I uh, discussed, the elbow bone? Yes. So, so this young patient, uh, he has a creative type of job, so he is a, the artist. So what changed in the joint? So after the prosthesis uh, and uh, um, uh, um, prosthesis uh, uh, improved, I don't believe you. Thank you for the presentation, and I have a question about the criteria of inclusion um, for the potentially resectable tumors. You plan to resect them in the first place. Did you plan to uh, make the volume less, or what uh, What was the goal uh, of uh, Tenosumab courses? Well, practically all the tumors were in um, this were border cases, so um, for resection treatment. For example, uh, in some cases, tumor were on the border of uh, intra uh, focal resection and uh, radical resection, so it was uh, quite a, a essential question, and also, and the uh, prosthesis is quite uh, uh, an expensive method that also uh, uh, makes the quality of life uh, worse. So we, uh, that's why we prefer to use targeted therapy to make a smaller volume and to improve the post-operational function and quality of life of the patient. As for the segmented resection, uh, targeted therapy was uh, prescribed when there was a risk of uh, pathological fracture or uh, there was um, uh, pr pronounced uh, uh, soft tissue component so that we could see the margin of the uh, resection. What do you mean by uh, the negative? So negative margin of resection um, made the um, resection uh, more difficult. So why? And another question is uh, why could you use uh, cement? So in the first place, uh, negative uh, margin didn't uh, make it uh, more difficult, but cytologically, the um, definition of the resection margin was uh, not uh, um, clear, was not uh, evident as uh, uh, usually uh, the tumor borders are covered with bones, so we cannot see them. 
the same as when we take uh, cytological samples, we also uh, just uh, technically, physically, uh, we uh, cannot uh, reach them, but um, we, uh, we also count uh, X uh, ray uh, evidence uh, when we uh, prescribe dinosunab. Uh, so, so that's because we cannot. Uh, define the borders clearly, so macroscopically and cytologically. So what do we do cytology for? So when we use uh, frost cards, we don't do it quite often. Our morphologists uh, uh, don't uh, prefer this, don't like this. Uh, in our cases, we do uh, cytological uh, tests uh, in, uh, from four sides. And uh, as for the second question, why end the process 3D printing and not uh, the cement? Because in this case, uh, there was a relapse after the polymeter practice and then, uh, diagnosis, uh, there was a relapse and the uh, lesion was uh, more significant, so we decided to, um, to make a bigger resection border and uh, fix 3D construction. So that uh, in further relapses we could do and uh, prothesis. And the uh, last question. Yeah, it's a short comment, and then you just showed a very wonderful case. I added uh, 20 pre and post dinosmap treated cases as a pathologist I am. And then especially on the post dinosmap treatment, if you see, send some tissue as a frozen section, is really, really difficult to tell them apart from the osteosarcoma because some say, some after nosmap treated some cases show the osteoplastic proliferation. So it is very difficult to differentiate from osteosarcoma. And we know that the clinical history, so it is not based on the clinical history is not difficult, but only histology itself is a very difficult. And then as a pathologist, we are, after the denosumab treated, if you did the H3, G34, immunostaining, the intensity and proportion is very decreased. It's just a short comment.